Hello everyone, my name is Cosmic, and welcome back to another episode of Age of Wonders. Right, so I'm just going to press start here. Right, now if you remember last time, uh, this went absolutely horribly. <laughs> um, if I, yeah, so yeah, my hero died, and my ally that had previously been peaceful for me is now out for blood, basically. Um, why he did this? I have no idea. I have literally no idea what the point of that was. Um, I don't know. Have I actually still got an arm? You know, I might. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yes, I have. Because I got those boars, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. I don't have the boars. They have quite a lot of health, actually. What does the animal do? Animals have a natural affinity with the wild. Uh, their ability to survive, uh, blah, 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 blah. they move faster and can attune themselves better to their environment. Okay, alright. So, I suppose it's not terrible what I got out of it, but it's really <laughs> not great, to be honest, considering I just lost my main hero. Um, anyway, let's get on with it. So, I've got to move this army to start with. Um, I might just move it into the town to kind of protect it. Uh, the priests are currently leading it because I haven't got any hero in there. Uh, we will make your death quick and painful. Thanks, you're very kind. Uh, oh yeah, and there's some random bad guys over here as well. And what have we got? High Elf Scoundrels and Orc Scoundrels. Okay. But yeah, my hero, it says my hero will return. Um, although I'm guessing I lose if I then lose my throne city. So we don't really don't want to do that. So I'm just going to end turn here. Uh, select production... And we kind of just want to keep producing military units. I mean, if I can get my hero back... Oh, actually, yeah. I've, <laughs> I've got so many heroes and I've got any other units now. I've got Ellen and I've got a a <coughs> Um. Yeah, alright. We'll keep getting units. Uh, should we get more archers? What have we actually got in here? Yeah, we got archers. Alright, we'll get, yeah, we'll just get some more archers, whatever. Okay, this army can just head back into town, that's fine, and yeah, in turn. So we've got one turn here to return, basically. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so what I was saying, like, uh, if you remember before, when I captured this town, it said, do you want to convert it? That was from the last episode. It's because everything in this town is an orc, basically. So the only thing I can train from it is orcs. I don't, I don't really know if that's actually a problem, though. Um, I mean, these human archers have got 36 health and 28 movement, and these orc razor bows have got 37 health and 28 movement. So they've actually got one more hit point. Um, yeah, let's let's just train them. Um, I kind of like getting lots of archers, because archers do a lot of damage, basically. <laughs> um, this army can... where's the button there is? It can just stay there for a turn. Okay. My hero should be back now. Yep, there we are. I don't know if he actually loses anything for dying. He's still the same level. Yeah. He's got all the same things. Okay, fine. Uh, select production. Did I actually get that archer? I did. Did I train it in one turn? Oh, okay. We kind of. I'd quite like to be able to train cavalry, actually. Um, I don't know if there's anything. Unlocks units, human settler, human builder. Oh, there we are. Yeah, I just need a war hall. But that will take five turns. Let's just do it. Okay, so are we going to actually go and tell this army to do something? I'd quite like to come back over here. These units are training really quickly, actually. Huh. I'd quite like to get my hero back over here so that I can then uh, put him in the army again. Yes, yeah, so, alright, let's, let's grab this army and bring it over here. Oh, okay, okay, so I can't move all the way around. If I was new, I probably wasn't going to be able to do that in one turn. I don't really want this army to get caught out, that's the thing. Because that we got some what we got here. Vampire Spider Queen. That looks really friendly. <laughs> uh yeah, I'm fine with avoiding that for now. 
Uh, we will get some orc great swords. Uh, and yeah, we'll also get a a, a war hall in that as well. It seems like kind of in order to get better units, like actually decent units, you have to get a war hall basically. So. Okay, an army requires your orders. Um, oh crap. Okay, it's just going to run past me. Well, that doesn't look terrifying at all. Dedicated to evil. Killing this unit is an act of good. Huh. I kind of want to kill it now. Alright, Linda, let's, let's bring this army up here. And hope I don't get caught out on the way. Okay, that's fine. And then we get Safur. Oh, can I merge the armies? Come on, Safur. No, 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 I didn't want to do that. Can you, you go and join that army? There we go! Okay. And now Aegelis can come back down here. Okay, there you go, see? <laughs> Easy as... yeah. Easy as pie. <laughs> Okay, so now we've actually got our hero back, and we've got our army again. This time we've got boars in it, and orc guys. And they've got an expert rank. That's pretty good. Huh. Okay, cool. What we're kind of trying to do at the moment is just expand our empire a bit. Because um, if you see, we've got one city here, and one city here. Where are those spiders going? Down here. Oh very likely defeat. Where am I being attacked? I have no idea where I'm being attacked. Can I get out of this? Huh. Well, this is great. Unless, no, I think I'm being attacked in the city. Very likely defeat as well. Ah, uh, well, I'm just going to auto-combat it. God damn it. Yeah, they took the city. Oh, <laughs> damn! That's annoying. That's very annoying. All right, we need to deal with these, deal with these spiders, otherwise they're going to take the other city. I'm playing so badly at the moment. I'm really sorry. Uh, we will come. Yep, that's good. Um, I'm quite tired at the moment, so that's probably it. <laughs> oh, our board has expanded as well. Sweet. Yeah, so what's now happened, um, you know those that population, where is it? Oh yeah, so our population has hit 12,000, basically. Uh, which is mean it's now grown into a big city, and so the borders have expanded, basically. Uh, and we can now use this magma forge up here. Um, yeah, so it's giving us plus 10 production per turn. Okay, hero wishes to join. Well, we've already got way too many heroes. Uh, not enough units, so I'm going to decline. Uh, this spider has run off down here, annoyingly. I don't even know where it's gone, I'm just going to murder this. Very likely victory, let's go. Okay, we should have this, no problem, to be honest. I just kind of wanted to disperse this bandit camp, because otherwise, again, like I'm just going to kind of get backstabbed. Spells. I keep all the same spells. I am glad. Has he got any range units? Do we go for the dwarves or the high elves? I'll go for the high elves, of course. Priests? Uh, priests are definitely out of range. I might just uh, do what I usually do and get everything into position. Uh, archers can go there. My, oh, they, yeah, they're the razor bow guys that I've now got. My boars. Hell yeah. The boars can come forward a little bit. Yep, okay, that's fine. All my units defend. Are these these are all range units, aren't they? They're barely doing any damage. Alright, in which case we might just have to charge. Uh, long swordsman can go first. Uh, razor bow, can you fire at them from there? Uh, not very well. Yeah, it's not very good. 
Um, our human archers can do a bit of damage. Let's just do it. The thing is, if I don't kind of start to pick them off a little bit, then I'm just going to get absolutely peppered with arrows. Oh, wow, they can move far. Alright, we'll charge then. Send the boars in. Destroy the gate. Sweet. And Sephur can cast another spell. Again, just to kind of reduce the uh, arrows that are going to get thrown at me in a second. Priests, can you fire from there? Yes, you can. Could finish that off. I probably won't finish it off, actually. We'll see. Three damage, three again. Yes! Hell yeah. Okay, alright. These guys can't move. So okay, in turn. Alright, we're actually in a better position than I thought here. Pause. Don't die. Okay then, never mind. <laughs> uh, magic Fist again. On that one, because then I can use my long swordsman to kill the other one. Uh, it's not going to do too much damage back to me, is it? Nah, that's fine. Slice, instantly dead. Nice. Well, I lost my boars. <laughs> no, the boars. Dead. Oh well. Uh, and we got a thief's cowl. This unit has plus two vision range in the underground. Well, that's great on this map where there isn't an underground. You can just sell for gold. But I kind of want the spear. I'll take. I'll take it. Um, did I not equip this staff? I can't actually remember how to do this. A lightning wand. Can I not equip it? I don't really understand that. I don't know where my cowl went either. Oh wait, oh no there it is. Items on the ground. Here we are. There we are. So I'm wearing a thief's cowl now. Which is not very helpful. <laughs> I don't know why I can't equip that. Alright, oh well. Okay, so we dispersed that bandit camp and we got some orc spearmen for it. To replace our boar. Um, okay, we, so we can't move. Uh, this, is, this one could move. Do I want it to move? Nah, that's fine. Okay, so we've got our war hall now. Oh, there's the spiders again. I wonder where they've gone. I can't chase them either. I'm going to be one... Um, one move shot. God damn. Yeah, because if you see all these guys have got five moving points, it takes six to move there. That is a pain in the arse. Okay, never mind. Right, what are we going to build now? Uh, we can get... How... We why can't I speak? We can get cavalry now. Uh, we kind of need some cavalry, actually. I'm going to get some cavalry. I'm going to get two units of cavalry. This guy still wants to join my cause, but he can go away. And we'll enter. I'm trying to hunt these spiders down, ideally. Can we just attack them straight away? Yes, we can. Okay, so we're going to destroy these spiders before they cause any damage. Oh, this area looks cool. <laughs> Pretty creepy, though. That thing is huge! Okay. Alright, well, I guess the first thing we do is magic fist something. We kill the babies, or we kill the queen. Uh, I'm going to punch the queen. Priests have three shots on these spiders. That does a lot of damage. Wow. Get wrecked. One, two, three. Well, that almost killed them. Swordsmen can charge, but they'll take just as much damage in return. I might be able to sort that if I fire the arrows first. Really? Range penalty minus 50% at that range? Okay. okay, whatever. Human archers. Yeah. Eh, babies. Well, that wasn't human archers, that was a, 
That was the spearmen. I was just wondering, they didn't look like arrows. Javelins. Okay, fire at the babies again. Are they dead? No, they're not dead. Damn it. Yeah, kind of want to protect these uh, spearmen, to be honest. Can't do anything with my hero. Uh, I could take a lot of damage this turn. Just gonna have to go with it. Hope, hope my units survive. He webbed me. Ah, okay. And he webbed me as well. And he will. <laughs> okay, right, fine, all right. I'm guessing that means I can't move. Well, that's absolutely fine. Oh no, I can't actually have my turn. Oh, any unit that's webbed can't have its turn. Okay, well that's more annoying than I thought, but... It's fine, because we can just shoot the spider in the back. Oh god. Like, I kind of want to do that, but I'm going to take so much damage in return. Alright, let's try and reduce... Try and do as much damage to it as possible. Oh, we might be able to kill it there. One. Oh, we killed it. Sweet. Okay, well, I'll do. Then we attack the spider babies. Absolutely annihilate them. Holy crap. Okay, well, I think we got this then. That was actually a much easier... Whoa. Whoa, whoa. My priests survive on, like, one health. But that's like one spider! That's one spider with four health! And it got my priest down to one hit point. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I lived. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm glad they didn't attack straight away, because my units would have got slaughtered. Alright, fine. Uh, okay, where are we going to go now? We need to go and recapture this town. That was really bad of me to lose that. It was a real fail. <laughs> and my hero died in the process earlier as well. Um, okay, this town is building cavalry. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yep, just keep going. I can't attack it next turn. No, I can't. All right. uh, we got some cavalry in this army now. Um, do we get? Yeah, we get two units of cavalry. What do we? We haven't got any priests. We could get some priests. I'm kind of considering either long swordsmen or priests. No, it might have to be the long swordsman actually, because these guys get the rank. I'm gonna get the long swordsman. Because I'm kind of thinking, like, if the cavalry are gonna charge in, like, any unit that gets around the cavalry is just gonna go straight for my archers. And I really don't want that. I need kind of pr to protect them. And, like, Aegelis is a ranged guy. She's a ranged guy, pretty much, with a musket. Yeah. Okay. Need something to protect the archers, basically. Uh, select skill for usage. Oh, I can summon a baby kraken now. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, just considering what to get here. Ventral frost might be an idea. I don't know, how can I see... Um, how much damage does magic fist do? Magic Fist does 21 physical damage, whereas that does 15 frost damage. But physical damage is blocked by armor and such. What's Produce Apprentice does? Enables production of the Apprentice. Oh, that gives me a unit. I'm really not sure. All right, we'll get Vengeful Frost and try it out. Problem is, 15 instead of like 21 damage is not that great, but I don't know. It might come in useful against like fire elementals or fire units. Okay, so this army is now full. Uh, we have got the long swordsmen. I can uncamp them so now I can actually do things with them. 
Um, and where do I want to head? Can I actually... I'm going to head over here. I'm going to head in the opposite direction to the other hero. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. What? A nightmare. A bleak orc. And a cobbled. Wow. Okay. Unholy champion deals an additional plus five fire damage. It's animal development for units. Huh. Okay. Let's do it. I do like the heroes actually. I think they look pretty cool. Alright, so I'm guessing he's just gonna run at me. He can move pretty far. Oh, it doesn't bother me. I have archers. Those things are so silly. Okay, fire the missiles. Uh, come over here. Do yeah, that'll do. Okay, well, didn't do that much damage, but better than nothing. Damn it. Uh, Ellen always does a ridiculous amount of damage with our musket, uh, but we need to get a bit closer. <laughs> uh, bang! 35 damage with a musket. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, cavalry. Yeah, uh, we'll take quite a lot of damage in return. We could kill the nightmare. Cavalry are gonna suffer a bit. Alright, let's just charge the nightmare. Okay. We haven't got any priests in this army either. But I'm gonna go and try and back it up with the swordsman over here. Um oh wait a minute, what's Aegelis got? Sphere of protection, star blades. What does sphere of protection do? Oh yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that on the horses. Okay, so the horses are basically are eighty percent immune to all damage for two turns now. I don't really want to attack because I'm gonna take more damage in return. So we'll just defend. Archers are gonna get backstabbed. Oh, don't kill the archers! Don't kill the oh. Why wow. the archers? <laughs> ah, all right. Other archers fire. Thing is, it's like every time you kind of get a unit and you like level it up different ranks and such, it's like then the enemy are just like, oh, well, we'll focus that one then. Oops. Wrong button. Uh, magic fist again on which one? On the incoming kobolds or the wargs? I think we go for this one just because it's far away and closest to the archers. Uh, they've had their turn. Aegelus uh, has also had his turn. What? Uh, maybe I can cast as well. Okay. That's fine. Alright, that's fine with me. Fire the electric bolts then. That should kill them actually. Yep. Okay, and horses just straight up. Sure, they're going to see that they're going to barely take any physical damage at all. They'll take poison damage. Um, that's that's all right. That's fine. It's not too much. There we are, and we destroyed them. So they've just got these wolves left, which I think we can kill off. Oh yeah, our other archers died, didn't they? It's fine. We can charge the swordsmen in. I was just thinking, where where is my other group of archers? Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, as I said, we lost those archers, but we did win. Uh, I wanted to grab those haste berries up there. It's annoying. Oh well. Uh, upgrade your hero. Oh, I get us leveled up, did he? Okay. Dragon Slayer party. All units in the hero's army gain Dragon Slayer, causing them to deal extra damage to dragon units. Yeah, no, that's not actually that good. Because <laughs> you don't often fight dragon units. Uh, steel enchantment, spirit shield. Yeah. Shock protection, magic affinity. 
Well, I might get... I'm going to get r one more range strength. Just because that's always handy. Like, being able to just do a bit more damage. We might get charged army as well. Yep. Because I, I got that on uh, Sephur. And it was pretty good. Basically, it just means all your units do extra electric damage. So, yeah. And Sephur leveled up as well. Why did Sephur level up? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, what are we going to get? Steel enchantment? Stunning touch could be good. I don't know what the range of stunning touch is, though. So that basically does exactly what it says. It means makes one unit completely useless for a turn. Could just grab the vision range upgrade. That's always handy. Then I've got I can see things further around me. Uh, plus five hit points because I don't really want to die. And we'll get plus one range strength. Plus one defense. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so I, I suppose that's like a fairly boring upgrade. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, but it's just, I just kind of like feel that as my hero's already died, I kind of need to keep him alive. <laughs> I don't really want him to die again. Speaking of which, let's attack this city. Very likely victory. Hope it goes better than the last victory with, or well, the last battle, sorry, with this hero. Okay, so for magic. Oh god, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? Oh, it's my cat. Oh, wow. I can't believe that was in my video. <laughs> my cat just like walked right past my leg and it scared the absolute hell out of me. Wow. Okay. Right, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, magic fist on the. No, that doesn't really matter, really, does it? On that one. Okay, human priests. Uh, I want to charge. What do I want to charge in first? We'll just. Alright, we'll just move everything forward. Maximum amount. Because I'm kind of out of range at the moment. I don't think they can hit me from there. I'm going to be proved wrong in a second. I can't believe that. My cat absolutely scared the hell out of me. <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine. None of my units can do anything else because they've all moved. They might. I might be just in the air that they can fire only just do three damage. The horror. Yeah, that's fine. There's nothing. So for, can you... No, I can't because I'm out of thingy mobs. I can't even remember what they're called. Mage points, casting points, I think. Uh, Alright, just move up with the rest of them then. Oh, sorry. Wrong button. Okay, priests are also out of range. Uh, human archers don't want to fire on that. Won't do that much damage. Might kill them. Three, three, and four. Yeah, we killed him. Sweet. Uh, okay, we need to get the swordsmen to the gate, really. They're the only ones here that are going to be able to smash down that that gate. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> it's because I'm throwing javelins uphill, and I can't even see the target I'm shooting at either. Uh, razor bows. Can we rear? Can you fire? No. Fire now. Priests. Uh, can I move anything else? No. Okay. Enter. They might be able to do a bit of damage to me this turn, but hopefully not very much. Oh, wow. Okay. That's more than I expected. Eleven. Alright. We need to, we need to get this door down fast. Didn't even take it down. <laughs> okay. My razor bows are going to be in trouble. We can't. Oh, 
shouldn't have done that. Alright, we can heal them. It's fine, we can heal them. Oops. Heal them with the priests. There we go. Uh, spearmen. Oh, God. Three to four damage. Yes. I'm, I mean, I'm slowly picking them, but they can do so much damage to me. Zephyr, can you cast? Oh. Oops, I'm pressing. What am I doing? Can't reach target. Two to three to two, or three to four to two. Yeah, we'll do that. The thing is, you can climb the walls, but it's kind of a bit risky. <laughs> You're basically like a sitting duck for a turn if you climb the walls. I'm still going for those uh, razor bows. Okay, long swordsman should knock down the gate this turn. Yep. Destroyed the gate. I can probably pick those off by now. No, because they've got like one health left. Yep, exactly one health. Alright, can we finish them with Sephir? Yes, we can. There we go. Can priests heal again? No, they can't. Right, my razor bows might die this I'm gonna get I'm just gonna get them out. I don't want them dying. Priests, can you get a bit closer? Yeah, it's not great. Three damage and three damage again. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, end turn. I'm gonna be miffed if my units die. Fire at the priests, yeah, that's fine. Okay, swordsmen should just be able to kill them now. Yep, absolutely slaughtered. Okay, good. Bit of a finicky battle that, but we did it. And we got the town back. Uh, select production for the other city. Builders Hall? What is the Builders Hall? Oh, that lets you get cities. That might be an idea. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. So then I can start actually building my own cities next turn. Uh, this army... I kind of need to get rid of that. Hmm. What's down here? I think I explored down there before. That's like the legendary temple, isn't it? Let's just check. Yeah, epic. I mean, we can have a look in there. Probable victory. But with hellhounds, wraiths, archon revenant infantry. Hmm. Thing is, it says I'd probably win that. Uh, I'll abort for now. How many casting points have I got? What does it say somewhere? That's a bit annoying. Oh, 9 out of 45. Okay, so I can't do... I can't really cast anything this turn. Alright, well I'm not going to attack it... yet. Uh, I might attack it this turn. Do I... Yeah, look, I get all my casting... Alright, now I'm going to go for it. Oh. Can I go into it? Enter, there we are. Uh, when explored, so that gives you a load of production, but it's got to be in your domain. Uh, so I need this city to basically to get bigger. Um, yeah, speaking of which, I've got to choose production, haven't I? We might get a storehouse, because that, that means we get more people each turn, and therefore more growth. Yep, we're going to do that. Army requires your orders. Yeah, oh yeah, this is where the archers died. Um, right, we're going to go up those haste berries just so we can keep exploring. Because we haven't actually been over here yet. Where was that guy that declared war against me again? I don't actually know where he was. <laughs> Did I click on his flag over here? No. I can't actually remember where he is. Oh, so that's him up there. That could be him. 
I mean, that might be him over there. Okay. Um, right. So we're going to try and enter this now, are we? Enter. Probable victory. God, this could go so horribly. <laughs> Let's do it. We'll probably win, but not necessarily. Those wraiths don't look very nice. Here come the Revenant infantry, and there come the wargs over there. Right, what do we want to do to start with then? I'm guessing we Magic Fist. That's going to do no damage against the race because the race have physical protection. I kind of want to get rid of the Hellhounds actually because they're quite close to my archers over here. My Razor Bows. Why does that do no damage at all? One to two to damage. What is this? Two to four. My archers are going to get so destroyed in this. Priests. Uh, priests are going to need to get right next to the archers now. Fire off a bolt at the Hellhounds to try and reduce their damage a bit. What I have found in this game is that uh, reducing health is helpful, but it doesn't do that much. Um, like you see, this unit has lost like quite a few hit points. It's lost like a third of its health. And yet it's still going to do 6 to 10 physical and 6 to 10 fire twice to me. So like that's abs absolutely going to wreck my swordsman. Yeah, sure, I'm going to do quite a bit of damage as well, but like then the, the rates are just going to kill me. Oh, this unit is able to sprint. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Fire of the wargs, I think. I don't know if I defend or just go in, really. If I go in, my swordsmen are basically guaranteed dead. Like, there's nothing I can do about it. If I defend, then they're probably also dead. <laughs> they're cursed as well. What does curse do? Curse is all enemy units. Curse units suffer less protection. And undead are unaffected. Great, that's helpful. Eh... Uh, Alright, archers. Fire on those revenant infantry. Yeah, I'm gonna defend. This could be the this could go terribly here. I I could lose so much this turn if I'm not careful. They're gonna murder my archers. Thirteen is the only yet. Uh, if if this goes so badly, I might le legitimately have to load back. Right, so four. No. So four is going to take a lot of damage. But he can kill it with the Hellhound. He can kill it with, with the Hellhound, yes. He can kill it with the Fist. Uh, swordsman... I've got an idea. Swordsmen charge in, and then I heal them with the priests. Priests, do your job. And they should live next turn to survive the wraiths now. Archers are over here getting destroyed by this revenant infantry. But I might be able to help with the spearmen. Yep, there we go. Yeah, wow, that actually went... A lot easier than expected. I haven't even lost anything yet. Oh no, I lost the I lost the razorbacks, didn't I? The razor bows. Right, so we just got these wraiths to kill now. Are they gonna kill my swordsman? Yes, they are. Ow! Damn! Damn you! All right, magic fist. Got to be done. Priests. Fire as much as you can at it. And they killed it. Again, we lost quite a lot. Yeah, uh, two units, one of which was a, a gold and elite. Ugh. Not pretty. We did get, however, a legendary weapon item, the Morning Star of Eternal Night. 40 gold and 40 mana. I'll, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll take it. Yeah. 
Oh, I can actually do that. I don't really understand, like, why I've got... Is that always equipped, then, that lightning wand? Because it gives you shock bolts, and that lets you... Because I can already do shock bolts. I'm guessing that's just always equipped. Um, that morning star isn't that useful on me, actually. It might be more useful on, like, a Gellis or the other one, though. Elena. Was that her name? Where is she? Over here. Ellen, sorry. Yeah, alright, we're going to have to go back here and stock up on units then. It's getting time towards... must be... yeah, it's gone past the end of the video. Well, I'll carry on for a little bit. Okay, will you guys just stay there for a turn? Or two? Or three? <laughs> and we'll end. Uh, City of Turin produces Builders Hall, which now lets me get Settlers. Uh, full unit details. Yep, there we go. Settlers can found city. Construct an outpost or rebuild a city which will match the settler's race. Sweet. Is there any bad thing to getting a settler? I suppose oh I suppose it costs a lot of people. That takes three turns. Don't wanna do that. I don't see why not. Let's get a settler. <laughs> right. Uh, this guy is off exploring up here. What is that? A watchtower. Alright, let's take it. Very likely victory. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll do this battle and then I'll end the video. This shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, there's the watchtower in the, in the background. That's cool. I do actually really like it, whereas like all of the battlefields are kind of, you know, actually representative of what's on the uh, the in-game kind of the in-game map. It's cool. All right, Agelis, uh, you can what Star Blades do again? Oh yeah, gives unit more damage basically. Uh, yep, we'll do that on the horses, I think. The so horses now do loads of electric damage. Well, they don't actually do that much. That is a really bad idea. Okay, all right, we won't do that. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, now if I charge that, I do 5 to 7 damage and 1 to 2 electric damage, but I take 10 to 16 twice. I suppose they are pikemen. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Archers? Can they fire from there? They can't. They can barely fire because this is in the way. This building. But firing is better than not firing. Elena. Ele Why do I call her Elena? Uh, muskets. You're not out of range. You're not out of range now, though. Oh, that does so much damage, that musket. I love it. Like, even at that range, it does 16 damage. Long swordsman. That might have been a mistake to use the star blade on the cavalry, actually, considering we got two halberdiers here. Like, that was probably a really silly idea. They can just defend. Uh, long swordsman. Can go there. Now, uh, the reason why I'm putting them there is because if this cow, if this cow, if the if this halberdier decides to come past here, then it's going to get stabbed twice by my long swordsman. Is that see? That's what those little red arrows mean. Okay, so we're going to enter. And this guy's going to go all the way around the outside. Ow! 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 Okay. Yeah, look, there we are. See. And they get sorted because they ran past my long swordsman. Uh, this guy is being a bit of trouble because my archers aren't going to do much damage to him. Can we charge with the cavalry? Ah, oh, but we're going to take so much damage in return. Can Agelis do some damage? He can do a bit of damage. 
can do quite a bit actually. Alright, so we almost killed those. Uh, this unit is being a bit of a pain. I'm going to try and get out of its range. Well, I can still fire at me, but it's not going to do quite as much damage. Uh, Ellen what, won't take any damage in return. Let's do it. Charge. Oh, 22 damage. Uh, she is so powerful. Long swordsman. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, it's fine. He's going to try and hurt Aegellus, and he's going to fail. And Ellen is going to smash those guys around the face. Okay. There we go. We've won that. Okay. Right, so I'm sorry, this episode probably wasn't that great. Um, I didn't really do very much. Uh, this army, I'm planning, what I'm kind of hoping is this army will come up here. Um, I think this looks like a city or something in here. I possibly, this could actually be... Uh, the goblin that I'm at war with. So she could kind of come around and backstab over here. Um, and my other army will all work. I'll get a settler in here and possibly build a city, I don't know, somewhere around here. Kind of like between the two. Um, so I kind of got like a trio of cities. Um, and then this army will continue exploring, like my main army will explore over here. Um, yeah. So that's what's planned. I know I didn't do that much this episode, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it, actually. Uh, I don't get many views, so, you know, everyone that does watch, I'm, I'm very thankful. <laughs> okay, alright, see you next episode. Bye!